async await. Oh no, is this going somewhere off of Python? Well, it's not. We can use async await in Python too. Let's see how. Consider this function. The task is an asynchronous function because it's marked with the async keyword. In Python, when we mark a function with the async, it becomes a coroutine. Coroutines can be paused and resumed, allowing other tasks to run in the meantime. To use async await in Python, we need to use the async IO library. So, what's the need to write asynchronous functions in Python? By using async and await, we can write non-blocking code that performs tasks concurrently, resulting in faster and more responsive programs. Here we have two scenarios. On the left, we have a synchronous function, and on the right, we have an asynchronous function. Both functions do the same thing, and we are checking who's going to take less time to complete over 10 laps. Here's the output, and it clearly shows that the asynchronous function won by a big margin. That was fast. Asynchronous functions don't wait for one task to complete. They go all in executing tasks concurrently. Let's see another one. Here we have two functions, load underscore data and task. The load underscore data function simulates loading heavy data, while the task function simulates a normal task. The main function executes both functions in sequence concurrently. Upon running the code, this output is generated. This shows that while the program begins loading the data, another task gets executed in the meantime, and the program exits once the data is completely loaded. To recap, async and await are essential tools for asynchronous programming in Python. By marking functions as async and using the await keyword, we can write non-blocking code that performs tasks concurrently, resulting in faster and more responsive programs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python tutorials.